Oh, washing, washing. Sometimes I feel like Cinderella. in from Italy, a segment of the priceless Shroud of Turin has been stolen from the Museum of Religious Artifacts in Rome. The Pope himself has put out an urgent appeal for its return and pledged a reward of a million euros to the person who safely returns it to its rightful home. Feel my lower back. Something's not right. What do you mean? What is it? I don't know. It feels like a tail. What? Lift up your shirt. What do you think? It does feel a bit weird. Oh my god. Yeah, but you're not going to be growing a tail, are you? How do you know? We've just been through a global pandemic. Who knows what's round the corner? I'm sure you're fine. It's probably worth getting it checked out though. Why don't you call the surgery? Yeah, I will. What are you doing today anyway? Oh, I need to take Chameleon back over to Jim and Marlene's. They've got people coming over tonight. Hmm, nice of them to invite us. Come on now. We can't go to every sexual event in summers, bruh. I guess. Especially if you've got a great big tail coming out of your pants. Oh, ha 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 ha. Now, to go and get showered. Okay. <laughs> Great, it's you. Yeah, does she know you're on the phone? <sighs> okay, good. I miss you too. Can we meet somewhere? But Jim, I really need to see you. I really need to see you again. <sighs> well, you wouldn't want me to have to say anything, would you? Okay, great. Use your place. Okay, okay, I'll see you then. Jim, Jim. I... Oh. oh, never mind, never mind. I'll see you soon. You will be mine. Yes, you will be mine. Morning, Dad. Hurry up, Julie, you'll be late. Nice to see you too. Is he being mean to you? No, Mum. And if there was a boy, thanks for thinking he'd be mean to me. I'm sorry, love. It's just that sometimes I don't think people realise how young you are. Mum, I'm 14. Exactly. People take advantage of you. Not everyone understands about your hormone troubles. What's going on here then? Oh, Dad, can you take me to school this morning? Ah, oh, I would, love, but I'm meeting someone. Sorry. Who are you meeting? Oh, um. Clive. Yeah, he wants to borrow a hammer. Oh, okay then. Give my love, won't you? Can't you drop me off on the way? No, I can't, Julie. You're old enough to walk yourself to school. Fine. All right, love. Have a nice day. Why you care? Oh, I do worry about her, Jim. Oh, she's fine. She can look after herself. Anyway, look, I better go. But you haven't had any breakfast? I'll get something good, Clive. Okay, love. See you later. Yeah, see you later. But you forgot the hammer! What are you buying now? Oh, I've ordered a new bedroom suite for the boys. Blimey, anything else? Yes, I've ordered a bigger car and I've put the boys into Eton. Already? 
They're not even three. It's a long waiting list, Doug. Don't you think you should get the reward money before you start spending? Come on, Doug. It's obviously the Turin Shroud. <gasps> How did it get to Summersborough all the way from Italy? I don't know. The thieves obviously thought this was the best place to hide it. Hmm. Well, maybe you're right. Hmm. Have you bought me anything yet? Not yet, love. What do you fancy? Hmm. Well, I've always had my heart set on a speedboat. Ooh. OK. Let's see what we can find. Hi, love. Where are you? Oh, I'm just at the office before I head over to Marlene's. How are you? Yeah, I've tried the surgery, but they can't see me until the 30th. That's more than three weeks. I know. What should I do? Have you tried one of those internet GPs? I think you have to pay a bit, but then, you know, at least you get seen. Yeah, good shout. I'll do some Googling now. OK, let me know how you get on. All right. Send my love to Marlene. Bye. I to wait until it was safe. How are you? Better for seeing you. Darling, what's the matter? I guess I'm just anxious about the future. Can't we keep things as they are? Does Marlene suspect anything? No, I don't think so. I just don't want to hurt her. I understand. But God damn it, Madge, you're such a beautiful woman. <laughs> and you're the manliest man I've ever met. Oh, Madge. I think I'm falling in love with you. Jim, I think I've already fallen. What are we going to do? Hello there, is that Mr. Dangle? Yes, that's right. Thanks for calling, Dr. Migraine. Not at all, not at all. Thank you for sending me the pictures and giving me the headlines of your condition. Have you seen anything like this before? Personally, no, but I have read about cases. Is it going to get worse? That very much depends. It's a bit of a tricky one, really. What do you mean? Well, have you now, or at any time in your past, been sexually promiscuous, Mr. Dangle. Is that really relevant? In the case of humans growing tails, it's extremely relevant, I'm afraid. Well... I need you to be honest. I mean, this was a very long time ago. It's still very important. Were you a man about town? A bit more than that, I'm afraid. Go on. Well, when I was in my 20s... Yes? I was living on my own in London. I needed to make ends meet. I see. And well, I didn't just become a little bit of a slag. I became a total slag. Well then, I'm afraid to say this does indeed sound like a case of dutty hepatitis. I see. And I'm afraid the treatment is quite severe. What do you have to do? Well, I'm afraid, Mr. Dangle, we're looking at amputation of the bottom. Jim! Carl! Hi! You all right? I could have sworn I just saw Marlene. She drove off. Marlene? Yeah, she uh, she changed her hair colour. No. Well, it was the same colour when I left this morning. Extraordinary. I could have sworn it was her. No, no, I, I don't think so. Well, uh, lovely to bump into the pair of you. How are you, Madge? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really good. I'm fine, thanks, Carl. 
Billy Pierre, what are you up to anyway? You two having an affair? <laughs> oh, Carl, you are funny. <laughs> 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 Hey Julie love, I'm Robbo, make your dance. Oh. He asked me if I can um, give you a lift home from school. Really? Yeah, you know, there's lots of lots of weirdos around. He just wants you to be safe, so just Oh, okay. You're gonna get in then? Well done for finding me. I don't usually walk home from school this way. Well, lucky for us both then, isn't it? Well, that's it. All the credit cards are maxed out now. I'd better phone the authorities now and hand in the Turin Shroud. Good idea, love. In breaking news, a spokesperson for the Vatican has today confirmed that the missing segment of the Shroud of Turin has been recovered. The cleaner had stolen the ancient piece of cloth at the end of her shift on Tuesday, but had been unable to live with the guilt and returned the item to the authorities today. Oh, it's you. Oh, thanks for the welcome. What's the matter? It's Julie. She's not come home. Oh, she's probably just at a mate's house. Jim, we're talking about Julie. She doesn't have any friends. I'm sure she's fine. Anyway, how was Clive? Who? Clive. You were lending him our hammer. Oh yeah, Clive. Clive, Clive. Yeah, yeah, he was really grateful. Right. Oh, thank God. Julie must have forgotten her keys. Hello, Marlene. Darlene, I thought you were... Dead? Yes. And yet here I am, very much alive. Oh, and here's your loyal husband, Jim. Hello. How do you know him? I've got something you might like to see. 